Today we eat $2,000 pizza. That we paid a lot less for. Let's talk about that. Mythical morning. Before we get started, we just wanna give y'all a quick reminder that the midterm elections are November 6th, so make sure to be your mythical best and get out there and vote. In fact, go to vote.org to register and find your polling place. I've also got one more quick announcement, not too big of a deal, but happy birthday, Rhett! Hey! It's his birthday! Let's not talk about it. And Let's what not a talk birthday about it. it is going to be this okay. year, 41. No, what? no, hey, let's not cray, talk cray. about it. Yes. And you know what? You're in for a real treat today because I am treating you to the most expensive meals from around the world. Happy birthday, man. And hey, I'm gonna take care of the bill. Okay, I, I appreciate the gesture, but I know you're just talking about today's episode because today we're gonna eat some of the most expensive meals from around the world that Josh has recreated for much cheaper. So technically, I'm also paying for this. And I love you for You've that. You've done nothing for me. It's time for You Don't Have to Be Rich to Eat This Fool. You don't have to spend time to feel this fool. Ain't no particular price. These ingredients cost. I don't want to spend extra cash for this dish. All over the world, there are places that sell incredibly expensive dishes because they know that people like us will get suckered into talking about them right. and some real suckers will actually buy them. But it is mythical chef Josh's culinary belief that these restaurants are basically ripping people off. So we're going to look at some of these very expensive meals and then we're gonna taste Josh's cheaper version that he cheaper. made. It's and cheaper. then we're going to guess how much he actually spent to make it. Whoever gets the most right wins a $1,000 chicken wing meal in Good Mythical More. Let's take a look at our first dish, a $2,000 pizza. Industry Kitchen in Manhattan is selling a $2,000 hmm. pizza. That comes out to $250 a slice, or basically $50 a bite. It's made from squid ink dough that rests for 48 hours, which is how far in advance you'll have to order the pie. Okay. It's topped with white Stilton cheese shipped from England, foie gras, and truffles from France. Ocetra caviar gathered from the Caspian Sea. Is this meaning anything to you? Oh, it just sounds so, so much meaning. And 24 karat gold leaves. It actually sounds disgusting and looks disgusting. Well, and to put things into perspective, Josh is using the exact same ingredients for all these dishes. So everything that Link just listed, he sourced all the same ingredients to make his version. Let's see what he did. All right, the squid ink dough has to rest for 48 hours before you touch it, which I find hashtag relatable. Oh God. Uh, this stuff is actually pretty gross. There's a little bit of lemon peel in this cheese and it kind of just tastes like someone farted on a lemon. Man, that doesn't look like a fancy pizza yet. It looks like someone just really, really screwed up a recipe. Uh, oh God. Foie gras, more like foie gross misconduct charging $2,000 for a pizza, am I right guys? <laughs> I like the built-in high five. Okay, oh, here God. it is, like, the final product. I like, wouldn't pay anything for this, just by based on smell. $2,000 for something that I don't even want. There's your piece. Okay, the caviar I've always had a really tough time getting into, so just to give this thing a chance, <coughs> I'm gonna stop short of the caviar with my bite. the foie gras. I actually don't mind that. The cheese is good. I really do like the cheese. Uh-uh. Okay. This is not about whether we like it. It's about whether we can predict how much Josh spent to actually make it. A number has just it struck me and I've, I don't know, I just, I just, I feel like the pizza spoke to me. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I'm feeling this, but I am. Okay, you got an answer? $201. I, did, I just, I believe that's it, on the money. Well, I said 115, I went even oh, lower. Okay, okay, Stevie? Okay guys, the real answer is $189.41. That's Link, you're closer. Yes. You're closer. Hey. I went over, but that don't matter in this game. No it doesn't. Next up, a $214 grilled cheese sandwich. Yes, the Serendipity Three restaurant in New York City is selling the quintessential grilled cheese sandwich. It is made out of French bread that it has- It just looks like a grilled cheese. Uh, Dom Perignon champagne and 23 karat gold baked throughout. It's brushed with a mixture of truffle oil and gold flakes. 
It has cacio cavallo, a oh. rare cheese imported from southern Italy. Okay. Uh, served alongside a lobster tomato bisque. Let's see what Josh did for us. All right, so this $214 grilled cheese starts with Dom Perignon and gold bread. Oh God, that's so much gold. Look at what happens when you put it in champagne. That's crazy, that was just powder. And so the cheese that goes in this grilled cheese, a cacio cavolo podolico. It's a me, cacio cavolo podolico. It's how you have to say it by law. It's cheese. Want some barnyard aromas, like new tennis balls. That's nice. Travis, I think I'm hilarious. <laughs> So we're taking this white truffle olive oil, and then we're gonna add more gold to that. Then we're gonna take our cheese. And the best part is that this is like really comfort food. Like this is what Kylie Jenner eats when it's cold outside. <laughs> you got an in with Kylie? I wouldn't be yeah. surprised if you hung out with <laughs> Kylie. Now, I, I said that it just looked like a grilled cheese in the photo, but clearly in Josh's immaculate recreation, this does not look like any normal grilled cheese. Let's dip. Dip it. Dink it. it. Sink it. I mean, that's good, but it's not as good as my mama's grilled cheese. <laughs> yeah, if I if I paid two hundred fourteen dollars for this, I'd be writing a letter to somebody. Um. Okay. Selling it for two hundred fourteen dollars. Hmm. Okay. I've got my answer. Go. I'm going with thirty four dollars. Oh, oh, let's see what you did over there. Don't look at mine. <laughs> $38. Close here. Even though I, I had a hard time drawing an eight. Yeah, what, hold on, what happened? I don't know. <laughs> try again. <laughs> Just try again to make me feel better. What's okay, that? there we go. $838, <laughs> I got him! <laughs> the right. answer is $23.41. Oh. Okay. Yo, you won. <laughs> yep, I, I won. Now we've got a $169 hot dog. I can walk down the street to Costco and buy a hot dog for $1.50 mm -hmm. and it comes with a soda. <laughs> but the Tokyo dog food truck. What? That was refreshing. Uh, the T word dog food truck in Seattle, birthday. Washington. Yeah, happy birthday, yeah. man. Is selling the Junie Bond hot dog oh, for $169. Mm. Uh, this foot long freight contains a smoked cheese bratwurst, mitake mushrooms, wagyu beef. Frog, more of that foie gras. <laughs> Truffles, caviar, and Japanese mayonnaise all served on a brioche bun. Good for you for not including any gold flakes yeah. though. All right, here we got a bunch of foot long francs, which is also what we called my uncle. He was a weird guy. All right, so we have our wagyu ribeye here. We're just gonna salt it and then just drag it across the grill. This is just rich people steakums. This looks so ridiculous. Butter teriyaki onions and maitake mushrooms. I messed this up, dude. We're gonna tuck some Kobe beef. Give it some happy little Kobe beef nooks. All right, so here we have some black summer truffles. We're gonna shave that on top. You put poo poo mushrooms on anything, it becomes fancy. I heard the new Yeezy's got truffles on them. And scene. Josh, your wiener shrunk. <laughs> Wish that was the first time I heard that. <laughs> okay, so, oh, look at that cross section. Yeah. That's beautiful. This is jam full of mostly things that are appealing to me. Yeah, the, that caviar. The caviar is not great. I'm gonna let me push a little bit of that back because I don't want that to ruin. It's just too overpowering for me. Oh, man, you really gotta. I don't know. Stretch the mouth. Even know where to how to. Um. This wagyu beef here. Get a little bit more of that. I would enjoy that. Yeah, that's good, man. Woo! Probably not as much as. This regular hot dog, but. <laughs> Cheapest right. thing we've tried, but the best thing we've eaten. A lot of ingredients there. I got it. I would encourage you to be very specific if you want to beat me. Okay. I said $28.14. Mm, $16.89. I believe in you, Josh. The real answer is seventy-one dollars and fifty cents. Really? Yeah. You really could you couldn't bring this one down that much. No, huh? that's real wagyu. The sausage alone was twelve dollars. Mm. Uh. Yeah. Next up, a dozen donuts for twelve hundred bucks. Mm. Bjorn Dela Cruz, chef of the Manila Social Club in Miami, is the culinary master behind the Golden Crystal Ube. Here's what it includes: crystal or crystal dough, crystal icing, 
filled with crystal jelly, airbrushed with a gleaming coat of 24 karat gold and topped with a meticulously placed gold leaf and a process that takes Dela Cruz nearly two hours to that, execute. That is a lot of gold, man. All right, let's see what Josh did. All right, so this is Ube, it's a Filipino purple yam. If the curler floats to the top, you know it's a witch. Hey, it floated, it's a witch. All right, so here we have a bottle of champagne and we're gonna make a glaze out of this. If I hit Chase with that, you owe me 50 bucks. Oh! All right, so we already got some champagne in there. I had a bowl full of powdered sugar. I popped the champagne. It sprayed everywhere. A little bit got in the powdered sugar and it was the exact right amount to make a glaze. Something is comforting about the idea of rich people paying to actually poop gold. I just laugh every time I think about my problems. <laughs> <laughs> Did that take you two hours to execute? It looked like you were doing it pretty hastily. Six minutes. Okay, great. And when you, so we're I not mean, accounting for your time. You do poop gold, right? Because, I mean, your body doesn't remove anything valuable from gold. Mm. Right? Vitamin G. Vitamin G. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Got him. And why yams? That's such a weird and thing. And why yams? That's the question on everybody's mind. Th that's actually really delicious. It's a pretty common ingredient in Filipino desserts. It's 2018 and everybody's asking, why, why yams? yams? I mean, it's it's um it's still uh, it's mushy. Is that how you want it? Yes. Why yams? <laughs> Is a legitimate question. Very weird. So 1,200 bucks for a dozen. So 100 dollars for one donut. <laughs> and we're um, gonna price one donut. Yeah. One donut. So how far down from 100 bucks are we coming? Okay. Ooh, changing my answer at the last second. Okay, what'd you got? I was gonna say seven ninety nine. I was like, that's stupid. I'm saying eleven ninety nine. Huh? I said eleven eleven. Oh whoa! <laughs> wow. And the real answer is twenty nine twenty seven. Oh yes! All right, Link. We're tied again. Next up, a two thousand dollar lobster frittata. Now this is actually called the zillion dollar lobster frittata from Norma's at the Le Parque Meridien Hotel in New York City. We actually talked about this one back in 2016 in our episode, the most expensive food in the world, but today we're gonna eat it. Mm -hmm. Here's what's in it. 10 ounces of Savruga caviar, an entire lobster, six fresh eggs, cream chives and lobster sauce, all served over a Yukon gold potato bed. Mm. Looks great, Josh have at it. All right, this is the zillion dollar frittata. I'm not great at lobsters, I'm great at chicken frying things. All right, so we got our six egg omelet going in. Sorry, frittata. Frittata is a made up word. It's like calling mayonnaise aioli. It's not fancier, it's just in a different language. This is definitely not kosher, my bubby would be pissed. So we got our bed of Yukon gold potatoes. Just dump it right on there. This is a whole ounce of caviar. This costs about $60 by itself, but at this restaurant, Instead of just doing a little bit, they take a full 10 ounces of it and just dump it right on top. This is the most grotesque thing I've ever seen in my life. I've seen snakes. Oh gosh. And you shaped it up nicely, I see, after that final moment of the video. I'm intrigued by the Yukon gold potato bed. <laughs> That's you know, smart. That made me just think about something I wanted to just step into, curl up in, and go to sleep. Forget all your troubles, forget all your cares, and get in a Yukon gold bed. Frittata all your troubles. Yes. Dink it. Sink it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, nah. if you're dropping two grand on something, you gotta have a better reaction than meh. Okay, well, that's all I got is meh. How much does it cost? And this is for the win, Link. <clears throat> this is not typically how we budget things on the show. No. By guessing after the fact. <laughs> hey, I'm taking a clue from something Josh said in the video, but I don't know if I should be following that logic or not. $183.22. Now you said, I don't know if this was a throw me off, but you said, this is one ounce of caviar, it costs $60, but this one has 10 ounces. So I went with $649, $600 for the caviar, not counting a bulk discount, plus $49 for the remaining ingredients. I hope he's wrong. The real answer is $590.72. Hey, hey, a slight bulk discount, birthday boy, takes it home. Listen, I don't care if you want or lose, now I'm sick that we pay that much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm Hannah. And I'm Coral. And we're in Florence, Italy. It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Cheers. Click the top link to watch me 
eat $1,000 chicken wings in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Get the limited edition GMM Silver Logo Tee now at mythical.store and check out the info on the product page to learn how you could win a once in a lifetime trip to the Mythical Studio.